Hello and welcome to our brand new 1.20 survival let's play. So this is going to be a fairly chill series where we do a bunch of exploration and some fun builds. So if you're into that kind of stuff, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Uh, for this first episode, the game plan is to kind of get a good lay of the land. We just spawned in here and uh, collect a bunch of supplies to build our first base. So I did pick a seed for um, this series just to make sure that we had a couple of specific biomes. Um, that we are looking for and within, you know, kind of a hundred thousand block radius. Um, and it looks like we got extra lucky and spawned right next to a village. So let's uh, start by checking that out. All right, here we are. Seems like a little sleepy village this morning, but we've got lots of buildings, which is nice. Uh, let's see if they have anything that we can use. That's going to help us uh, start off here. Let's start with a bed. I'll just take a white one because I want to dye it. <laughs> <laughs> with uh, maybe some of the new flowers or something anyway. Um, nothing in there. Hmm. All right, not much. Uh, <laughs> not a single chest in any of these houses. Ooh, it looks like, though. <gasps> Look at that. We got some iron right off the bat. Okay, I'm going to finish exploring these houses, and then we're going to come back for that, because why not just start immediately? <laughs> if we can collect it right away, we might as well. Oh, nothing, nothing, eh? All right, uh, let's make our way up this hill as well. You can see we have the uh, cherry blossoms right up there. That was something that I was looking for um, when I was picking a seed because I want to use all of that new stuff. So um, all of the new wooden and whatnot. I'm going to build maybe a, a pretty pink starter cottage for our, uh, for our base, although I don't know if we'll quite get to that in this episode specifically. Um, ooh, some farmers. We've got some cats. Perfect. And our first chest. All right, we got apples, potatoes, not super useful, and one piece of bread. All right. <laughs> At least we got a little bit of food to start with. Ooh, a furnace. Okay, once we get a pickaxe, I'm going to take that. And is this the last building up here? I think it might be. Mm, ooh, another chest. All right, here we go. Some more bread. Perfect. Potatoes, apple. And emeralds. Okay, not super useful right off the bat, but um, will definitely come in handy. Oh, there's another one up there. Okay, let's check that one out. And nothing. All right. <laughs> this one looks a little bit more interesting, maybe. Fletcher, but yeah, no chests. Okay, well, it seems like kind of a sleepy little village, but I've certainly seen worse. And uh, even just having a bed right off the back, it's great. Oh! Whoa, is there another one right there? Hey, look at that. Oh, wow. Okay. What a seed, eh? <laughs> oh, we spawned right in between two villages. That's like right there. Okay, cool. All right, let's, um, I'll also go check that one out. But first, let's get our basic tools going and get the iron um, and the furnace that's over here before I completely forget about them. All right, well, it was only two iron, <laughs> which is not... Not as good as I was hoping, but at least it's better than nothing. So let's uh, get over there and check out that other village because maybe they'll have some more exciting stuff. Got quite a variety of sheep over here too. <laughs> White sheep, brown sheep, black sheep, a couple of cows. It's a pretty good, um, pretty good starting place. It actually looks really nice here too. It looks like that is just open ocean for quite a while, so that's definitely, we're gonna put a boat in there and uh, explore around and see what we can see along the shore for sure. But um, after we visit this village, I wanna go up and get those cherry trees first. Oh, look at this, we've got a library. Okay, that's nice. That'll be good once we can, um, once we can like, well, I might even just take the books. I probably won't wait for an actual like proper pickaxe to get the bookshelves. <laughs> so I think if you just destroy these with a normal axe, they will give you the books back, or at least a couple of the books. So we will worry about that a little later. Oh, a little barn, that's cute. Pig's taking a bath. <laughs> I love that. Okay, I'm gonna maybe, I'll leave that wheat in there just cause it fits the barn and I'll take some of the stuff that's uh, just on the ground out here. A lot of villagers down here. I, I don't think these two villages are connected. I assume these are two separate ones. They each have a bell. Okay, there was nothing in there. <laughs> oh, just a couple of emeralds in this one. Now, one thing that I absolutely love doing is building at villages, like making them significantly more exciting and making the buildings better and all of that. So I am, uh, I do think this is gonna be a really awesome little area 
to kind of expand these two villages out and build something better. But it looks like we need to get to sleep before uh, before we start spawning anything in here to uh, destroy this village before we're ready to fortify it a little bit. All right, new day. I think we've finished. I already looked in all these houses. There really wasn't much for chests. Um, but I'm just going to grab some of these hay bales so that we can have some extra wheat to make some bread. We don't have to worry about food for a while. Um, which is one of the best things I find <laughs> about finding a village. First thing, not that really in this game food is all that hard to come by um, in general, but villages, you just grab a whole bunch of bales of wheat and you never really have to worry about food <laughs> until you have your own uh, until you have your own farms and stuff going on. All right, that should be plenty for now. Um, I don't even know how many pieces of bread that makes, but quite a few. I am going to grab a bunch of these tulips before we head up because these are a great color. <laughs> And they're really cute as well. Zombie. Let's see. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. Wow. I am a little bit out of practice. <laughs> Clearly. But a uh, little XP doesn't hurt anybody. Ooh, and I'm going to grab some of these taller flowers as well. I'll leave that one for the bee. <laughs> I think we're going to build a really cute kind of like cottage core vibe um, base once we do decide to settle down somewhere. So. We are definitely going to bring in some bees and lots of flowers and I think it's going to be super fun. I think it's going to fit really well with the new kind of cherry blossom um, themed building supplies, which I'm really excited for. Um, all right, so let's just make our way up there. I'm just going to kind of climb that mountain slowly. Ooh, I'm going to take some of these white flowers too <laughs> while we're at it and uh, I will see you up there. All right, here we are. So it does look like it's a pretty small one, just a few trees and some of these flowers, but honestly, I just wanna grab these flowers. We can bone meal them, make them spread out once we pick our base. And uh, I'm just gonna grab one, well, I'll grab one stack of wood if I can, if this tree, these trees are enough for one full stack, and then um, a, as many saplings as we can get from them falling, and then we can always just plant them somewhere else and let them grow. Uh, we can kind of make our own little cherry blossom uh, biome near our cottage. So I'd love to do sort of um, a sort of more mixed forest. I think like cherry blossoms and oak trees or something would be really cute together. Uh, make sort of a what you might see a bit more naturally. Uh, a mix of the pink and the green would make a really cool vibe right around our cottage. All right, there we go. We have our stack in a bit and we actually managed to leave a couple of trees up here, which is nice. <laughs> I might, well, I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna save our saplings. Um, we have way too many of these flowers though. I will get rid of those as we end up like filling our inventory inevitably with uh, other stuff while we're exploring around. Um, but I'm just gonna wait a few minutes to let as many saplings as possible fall from these leaves. I don't think, oh, there is a piece of wood in there. All right, I gotta get that. All right, we certainly have enough saplings now to make more than a forest <laughs> that we need. So I'm gonna replant a couple of them here just to, you know, let this biome flourish a little bit uh, in case we, I don't know, it's a nice little thing to see on top of the cliff. I don't know exactly if we're going to base within view of up here. I kind of think probably, cause I think we want to be near the villages, but we'll see, we need to explore a little bit first, but I'll just plant a few of these around uh, here to let them, let them grow up while we're away. <laughs> Even though I guess while we're away, they don't really grow, do they? But it is what it is. We'll be back. Um, and we definitely do not need this many uh, this many trees for ourselves. All right, so next thing on the agenda, I want those roses. <laughs> so again, I'm gonna just kind of slowly and carefully mosey my way. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's, uh, let's lay to rest up here in the falling petals <laughs> for another night before, uh, before the monsters come out. Beautiful view. All right, there we go. Really feels like these days are short. <laughs> I should look into whether or not there are um, there are settings that you can change to like make the day cycle longer. I'm not sure if you know, let me know in the comments <laughs> because holy, they feel, it feels like we get like nothing done in an actual day. Oops, let's try not to take too many hearts away as we fall down. I guess I could just jump into the water, couldn't I? Should we risk it? All right, let's do it. Oh, I love these, uh, the shader that I have on. I'll put all the details and what I've added on in the description below, but wow, it makes the underwater look so much better. I haven't played uh, with anything like this in a while and it is, it makes the game so much better. <laughs> if your computer can handle it, it is absolutely 100% better. 
All right, here we are. Don't mind if I do. These are gonna look great next to our beautiful pink house. <laughs> we probably don't need this many, but it's fine. We'll, we'll do quite a few builds, I think, in this series, so, or hopefully anyway. Um, so we will just start saving them now uh, so that we'll have plenty later. And of course, a tiny bit more iron. Let's just grab that. Don't mind if I do. Might as well grab the easy iron while we can. Ooh, and it is ooh, more than three this time. Is that it? Okay, four. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> for something we don't need to dig into the ground and uh, face danger for, I will certainly not complain. Ooh, and some red roses. I don't know how good these will look, but uh, we'll grab them anyway. <laughs> Perhaps in another build they'll look good. Not next to our pink house necessarily. Alright, and let's uh, take a look out here and see what else we have this way. So it looks like there's a full river going all the way to what I assume was the ocean over there, or a really, really big lake. <laughs> um, and yeah, nothing too exciting. Looks like mostly oak kind of forest over there, and a lot of just plains around here, which is great. Um, nothing, nothing wrong with that, but we are looking for specifically some spruce trees. I want spruce wood. It's one of my favorite woods to build with. Um, I would love to find a dark wood forest as well, but I know those are so much more rare and that's not a biome that I specifically looked for um, when I was filtering out options for seeds, so I don't know what our chances are of actually finding one. Um, but we'll keep an eye out anyway. And what else am I looking for? Oh, a mesa. I love terracotta. I think it's one of the most, like, diverse things to build with. Um, so we will definitely be... Ooh, some iron in the water. We'll definitely be looking out for that as well. I love... I also... This is the other thing I love about these, uh, like, sh using shaders is the glow of these, um... All of the minerals, or whatever you want to call it, the metals and stuff. So much easier to see them. <laughs> Which is maybe cheating a little bit, but I don't mind. Alright, I'm going to build us a boat, and then we can just head right out into the ocean from here. Because I don't really see anything else too noteworthy along the way. I am glad we have all these planes, though. It's a great place to find um, animals. So I do think we're going to probably settle around here somewhere. Maybe, you know, it looks like there's some cute... Oh, well, that's the village right there. Um, I don't want to be too close to the village, but maybe over on this side, we can, you know, wander around there a little bit more. And maybe that's close enough. We could, you know, easily walk over to our villagers <laughs> when we want to, but uh, they're not, you know, right in our face all the time. So let's uh, let's go this way. Let's head this way first. I'm not gonna pay too much attention. Like, it looks like there's something exciting down there. I am want. I do want to do some like episodes where we just, you know, one episode we're gonna explore the ocean. One we're gonna, you know, go explore a desert if we can find one. Um, go explore a jungle and all of that fun stuff. But uh, I'm not gonna go down and do all of that stuff quite yet. <laughs> I don't think there's anything down there that we need immediately. Um, and. Uh, it's not quite worth the risk <laughs> when we're not very well armored. So I'll take note that we have some fun stuff down there, but we'll make you know full episodes of all that, of all of that later on. So for now, I think I'm just going to follow this coast <laughs> until we come across some other biomes. Um, I do, since I did look this one up, I think this one is pretty much a big circle. Um, this section of the ocean. So I'm just going to basically follow the right hand wall all the way. Um, all the way around as we can and check out what is at least along the coast. I'm sure there's probably some other stuff more inland, but for now we'll check out what's down here. Okay, mostly plains so far. It looks like we're coming up on a savanna and up there... Is that something else? I'll take a slightly closer look. I can't tell if those are just oak trees. I thought I saw some vines hanging off of one of them. Hmm. I want to go and look. <laughs> this might be a fruitless effort, but uh, I think it's worth checking it out anyway, because if that is that dark oak forest that I'm looking for, that would be miraculous. Okay. No, this is a jungle. This is a weird looking jungle, isn't it? Aren't they usually way more dense? I guess, is there a sparse jungle? <laughs> would it say if I, uh, if I checked in here? Where does it say the biome again? Uh... Oh, 
Oh yeah, sparse jungle. Okay, it does say it on the uh, on the left hand side down there. Interesting. Okay. Well, this is kind of nice actually. I mean, I don't think. I mean, I would love some vines, but I don't have shears yet. Um, and I think that's what you need to use to get the vines off. But it's kind of nice. I mean, jungles themselves I find very scary, so it's kind of nice to have a have a sparse jungle to just gather some jungle resources if we want them. Um, but there's nothing that I can think of other than vines that I want right now, and we don't have shears yet. And I don't really feel like setting up the furnace just to make a set of shears right now. <laughs> but we know that this is here, and it was not very far at all, so that is good to know. All right, so it looks like, yeah, there it is, some orange sand and some desert. So that was literally just, that's where the jungle was and we're just continuing on this direction here. So let's see. Okay, okay, not bad. I don't really see very colorful terracotta. Any oh, there it is, back in the back. Okay, perfect. I am definitely going to at least collect some white stuff. Um, but I think we can color ourselves, but I also, we also need some sand too, just to make glass and whatnot. So uh, this will be the perfect place to be. If we find any mine shafts, maybe we'll check out a couple just for some quick and easy resources. Um, because if we can get kind of all of our iron tools going um, and everything before we need to worry about, um, before we do building, that would be great, but I'm not hundred percent sure what we will find here. What is the blue? Is that a type of terracotta? Oh, interesting. I don't know if I've... Or is that just grass? That's just grass in this shader. Yeah, okay. That's just dirt. Never mind. <laughs> My bad. I've clearly not been using uh, these uh, settings for very long, have I? Wow, I think this biome is so cool. I have never done a build like in this place before, but I think it would be really cool to do something um, like almost... I don't know, maybe sort of ap apocalyptic style, uh, like what you would see in, in like the, if you've ever played the game Raft or that kind of stuff, I think it would go perfectly in a biome like this. All right, there we go. We mutilated this area a little bit, but we've got a whole stack of light gray and a whole stack of white, um, which I think will be good enough for now. I don't think, at least not for any builds that I have in mind right now, I don't really think we need the regular terracotta. Um, I do think it's cool that you can make kind of all those patterned, all that pattern stuff. Um, but I actually don't know. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure how you make all of the patterned stuff anyway. Uh, maybe I should check that out. Yeah, I guess that's right. To make any of the uh, dyed stuff, we do need the regular terracotta, um, I believe. Oops, did I just... Okay. So maybe, you know what, we have one slot here anyway, um, and I'm going to get rid of some of these flowers, so I'm just going to grab a whole stack of regular terracotta while we're here, <laughs> just in case we want to make any of those cool uh, patterned blocks for anything. I'm sure we will be back um, anyway. I want to come back and do a bunch of exploring of the mines, and even in the sand and stuff, maybe we can find some of that new archaeology stuff here. I feel like this would be a good place for it, <laughs> but best if we can do some building right off the bat as well. All right, there we go. We've got our full stack and the sun is going down. So it looks like we're going to take a little nighttime nap in the desert here. Oh, look, there's a... Oh, wait, is that a... I was going to say there's a desert, like... No, that's a village. <gasps> nope, we are going to take our nap for the night in a desert village. Awesome. Oh, it looks like a big one too. I love desert villages. <laughs> I think they're one of the best ones. Can we make it there though? I don't want to. Sp yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna sleep here and then <laughs> we will not spawn this uh, the zombies to come and torture this poor desert village. All right. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. Let's check out this first house first. Of course, nobody's gonna nobody's gonna leave me a chest. Oh gosh. Yeah. Put cactuses right outside your door. That's <laughs> that's the way to do it. Jeez. How do these people even get up to their houses? <laughs> There's no way down. <laughs> oh, I assume nobody lives up here. Oh, it's like a little desert oasis area. This is actually a really nice place. Maybe if we get far enough in this series before I get uh, <laughs> too burnt out, um, I'll come here and rebuild this desert village. I love building like desert style buildings. I think they just work so well 
with like Minecraft <laughs> and the blocky nature of it. It's like one of the easiest things to build, but it always looks so good. Um, and this is cute. It's like an oasis and everything. And you can see the mosaic in the background. It's like perfect. Fletcher. Oh, sorry, cat. I'll leave you. <laughs> Ooh, the camel. Oh, this one's new too, isn't it? Oh, how fun. Okay, we'll come back for the camel. <laughs> we will make a camel our own, uh, but not today because we don't have a saddle. Um, and I don't really want to go looking for a desert temple right now. Wow, lots of crafting tables. These guys, uh, they're all crafters. Ooh, okay, I want one of these for sure. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Don't mean to take your job away, but uh, we need some of that for sure. Okay, not a... Oh, wow, it's raining just on the oasis. <laughs> oh no, I guess it is kind of raining here too, isn't it? Oh, hello. Alright, we've got some looms and some... A little tiny piece of water. Okay, sure thing. Get out of here. More crafting table, no chests. <laughs> Everybody, oh, look at that. Another lectern and huge bookshelf, holy. Oh. Oh, that's tempting, okay. Um, What is it? You break a bookshelf, I'm pretty sure it gives you books, right? Not just like, not just paper? Ugh, I don't know. I don't really want to break them just yet. Oops. We'll see, but uh, not a single chest in this entire village, apparently. I was hoping I could like empty out some of my stuff easily, but I think I'm just gonna throw some of these flowers into the water <laughs> instead. Because <laughs> we certainly do not need two stacks of uh, 64 of those flowers. Uh, everything else I think is okay. Leave a little bit of... Eh, I'll save those until we don't need them anymore. Uh, uh... Actually, nah, you know what? Let's just clear out the inventory. We'll find some cool stuff on the way, I'm sure. All right, well, I guess that's that. Um, at least we know this village is nice and close, basically, to the outside. Um, looks like just copper. I'm not collecting copper right now. Um, I know there's some good uses for it, but honestly, I find it pretty easy to find. So I'm not really too worried about that right now. That cat kill a chicken. <laughs> or a rabbit, probably. Alright, but I'm going to gather a stack of sand as we head back to the ocean and continue basically just following the coast all the way around, hopefully in kind of a circle, <laughs> until we get back to our spawn point, which I'm hoping we can recognize. I think with those two villages right on the coast, it should be pretty easy to find. Ooh, look at those lights up ahead. It looks like there is another, <laughs> There's another desert village nice and close to the shore here. Okay, this is a way easier one to get to. Let's check it out. I'm just gonna leave the boat there for now. Try to remember where we put it in. <laughs> that is always the struggle. Wow, look at this. Okay, it's even got a tower and everything. All right. Well, this is where we're gonna come back and get our camel because that's gonna be much easier to figure out how to get back. All right, finally the chest. <laughs> the only chest we get is inside this tower, apparently. Um, okay, a green dye. Oh, I don't need this raw rabbit for sure. Um, oh, we don't need two stacks of sand. <laughs> I didn't realize I almost had two full stacks. Uh, but we got ourselves a cartography table. A couple of things here already. I thought I, oh yeah, there's the smoker. Grab that. Okay, perfect. That gives us a couple of uh, blank spots. I'm just going to take this wheat and turn it pretty much immediately into... Um, into bread anyway but I did think that I saw when it got kind of dark I thought I saw some more lights coming from down there but honestly I think deserts are just so littered with villages <laughs> there very well might be another one down there I would not be surprised um, but I don't think it's worth going to exploring right now anyway uh, these desert villages seem to really not have a lot of loot in them which is totally fine uh, but that means that there's not really a whole lot of point in us spending a bunch of time checking them out. So let's just continue on our little ocean exploration here. Ooh, I see more vines. Is this? That is not... Is this another jungle? Oh yeah, okay. First I thought maybe this was... 
Is it a jungle or is it a swamp? Oh no, this is totally the mangroves. Oh, this is cool. You know, honestly, I haven't played much um, since like Minecraft 118. So a lot of this is pretty new to me, um, but very cool trees. We might have to, uh, we'll have to come back here and give it a good investigation. <laughs> I know, I think there's like frogs you can get in here, which would be really cool, but looks pretty dense in there to be honest. And uh, I don't know how I feel about going in there without armor. <laughs> I have a feeling it's probably pretty dark, but good to know. Um, ooh, wait. Oh, this looks so cool. Just go in here by boat. Looks like there's like a little tunnel in there. Oh, so cool. Another day, another day for sure. <laughs> what is that? Oh, my goodness, I'm playing. Um, I'm currently playing the new Zelda game, Tears of the Kingdom, and that is like exactly something that you would see all the sky islands and like this random pillar. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, that is fun, but also uh, not something that you would necessarily expect to see in Minecraft. All right, looks like more oak forest here. I'm trying to keep my eyes really peeled to see if there's any, um, if there is any like dark wood forest, because I know sometimes they're kind of attached, but you sh can usually see those big mushrooms from like miles away. So that's mostly what I'm keeping my eye out for. Other than that, the only other thing we're looking for like really specifically is spruce trees. I would actually, I would love to find a whole taiga. Um, there's one somewhere around here, because uh, I did, I don't remember exactly where it was on the map, but um, I know there is one within <laughs> a thousand blocks of our starting base. So um, I really want some spruce wood and I would also love the mossy cobble and stuff that you can find in there. There was some in that village, uh, worst case, we can always just steal it from there and just kind of, you know, sprinkle it along a little bit. But um, ooh, this looks like a good shipwreck. I'm gonna check it out. Okay, so there was the main chest, nothing too exciting, just some wheat, and then, what is it, the other one? There's like usually a, a chest in the front, right? But do you have to dig for it? I love these ones that are like almost fully intact. They look so cool. I also don't know how you tell which is the front and which is the back. <laughs> Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, great treasure map. Let's replace that and a compass real quick. What do we want to replace? Shoot, shoot, shoot. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, I made some poor decisions there, but that's okay. Um, we've got lots of food here. I need to go back and get that. Um, I need to go back and get that iron. I just need to decide what I want to get rid of here. Uh, that was way too much thinking for uh, for one moment. <laughs> Uh, I don't think we need the apples. We'll get rid of this. All right, it's all good. We have made it. <laughs> we'll get those hearts back. We have lots of bread, lots of food resources. Uh, we just got a ton of paper and a buried treasure map. Are they usually nearby? Oh, that could be... Oh wait, that means I'm up there. Oh, actually that might not be too far away. I'm just gonna hang on to this and um, we'll like watch it as we're boating around here. Because I think, not 100% sure which direction it's in. If I go this way. Oh, interesting. Not that we really have the inventory space for this right now anyway. <laughs> so I think maybe we will save the buried treasure map for another day. Um, let me just see. Ooh, there's some more sky islands. <laughs> oh no, wait, am I going backwards? Okay, maybe this is just, I'm, we're just looking at it from another angle now. It looks like the exact same thing we saw back there, right? <laughs> I'm not going crazy. Whoa, what is the, oh, that's the reflection of the sun off the water. I was like, why does that look like fire? Ooh, there's some iron here though. We're going to, uh, this is where we will sleep for the night and collect some iron as well. Ah, oh, one block, that's it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, okay, I'm going to grab some coal while we're here anyway, so that we can, uh, we're gonna need to start smelting that iron soon anyway. 
Yeah, what a weird formation. <laughs> it's definitely a new area though. Oh, look, we've got uh, another jungle here. Okay. Um, I wonder if... I don't really think we want to go in that way so much. So let's, let's take a quick look, but I, I definitely want to keep to... Or maybe this is just a little island. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> what is it? Are those more jungle trees over there too? Oh, so that's the mangrove. Okay, that makes sense. Um, yeah, cool. This is a, a pretty full jungle. I wonder... I guess we have a few jungles. I wonder if um, any of these ones are like the ones with the pandas. <laughs> Those are always my favorite, of course. Um, ooh, there's a ooh, there's a beached shipwreck. Okay, I'm gonna go check that out. I don't want to get too off course because I don't know if I'm sure if this is kind of going inside. I guess this is still the ocean. It's kind of the same thing. Ooh, wow! Look at this. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I know I have a lot of stuff here that I don't necessarily need. <laughs> It's just kind of nice to, uh, I like having a good stockpile, but we're definitely not giving up the iron nuggets. That's not gonna happen. The lapis, I mean, I guess similar to the emeralds, it's kind of a, a nice to have, but not necessarily. We're gonna find a bunch of our own, basically, is the idea. Um, although sticks, pretty darn easy to come by. It's probably more worth to keep those. Um, iron nuggets I think I'm gonna leave. We also obviously don't need to keep the dirt. Um, I basically just like to kind of keep a, a thing of dirt for like building up when I need to. Uh, but we have lots of other resources that we can use for that. Um, I don't need the nuggets for now though. Let's see what's in the other chest if we can find one here. Okay, there's some- ooh, smithing temp- oh, armor trim. <gasps> no way, okay. Oh, that's cool. All right, let's keep the paper. Another buried treasure map. Okay, we're definitely getting rid of the sand. <laughs> and we're safe right now. We're in the in the doorway, by the way, so we can kind of take our time here and think about it a bit. Um, you know what? I wonder if I should just turn all these hay bales into as much bread as I can, and then I can just I can just take that. Let's see. Okay, there we go. We're just going to... We're actually full up now, so we're going to get rid of both the hay... Okay, oh no, stop it! Okay, actually, you know what, we'll, just, we'll put it into the chest. <laughs> there we go, that is what we will keep, and we really need to uh, get back. <laughs> oh no, shoot, okay, I forgot, we need to um, need to keep our crafting table. Um, yeah, you know, we're gonna get rid of the shovel, it's almost dead. And honestly, so is this axe, but... Oh, we are, uh, we are cutting it real close here. Actually, you know what would make so much more sense? Is if we just made a boat with a chest, right? Because we can sit inside the... the... Um, we can still sit inside the boat. Yeah, okay, this is way better. <laughs> See, I'm not I'm not an expert at this game, but um I uh wait, how do I open the chest? Okay, there we go. Shift click. <laughs> we got this under control. Okay, here we go. We can take whatever we want now. Alright. There we go, problem solved. <laughs> okay, sun's going down. Let's uh let's just keep boating around a little bit here. And uh we'll pull in somewhere to sleep. Okay, so I do think, I was just checking on our coordinates um, to try to get this, you know, map in my head a little bit, but I do think we're maybe going the wrong way. Maybe we just got messed up when we went into this area for the, <laughs> from the jungle, um, because we should, I think, still be heading... We shouldn't still be heading in the negative Z direction. I'm pretty sure we've turned around already. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to go back in here the way we came and then go like around this jungle area in the sense of what we were doing before, um, because I don't want to get too far from our starting position. <laughs> That's, uh, cause yeah, we came out of here. 
So I'm wondering if we just kind of got a little bit mixed up, went down the wrong river path or something like that. Okay, here we back are. That's where we had... Um, the other side of this here is where we were, where we found that little bit of iron. So I'm going to continue this way instead. I think this is, uh, <laughs> I think maybe we weren't supposed to go into that area there. If we want to continue our, essentially I'm just trying to do a big circle, um, and get back to the base, which, I don't know, my, honestly, my game map is not great. <laughs> I'm not very, I'm not the best at keeping track of, like, where I am in games, but I think, I'm pretty sure we should be like over there-ish is where our starting was. Um, so we've been kind of going around in a pretty good circle so far. Ooh, you know what? So I've just been like really trying to check out, <laughs> doing some like far looking here and it looks like those are definitely spruce trees. So we are going to Go a little bit off course here, just to head in there. It doesn't look too far in, which is perfect. Is that another jungle? Jeez, so many jungle trees. <laughs> Ooh, and this big pile of rocks too. I wonder if, um, hmm, I don't really see any iron. That's okay. We'll just, uh, we'll just boat in, do something easy. Oh, there's some iron. <laughs> it's like the most difficult, difficult position to get it. Ah, oh, yeah, perfect. We've got a little, like, beach entrance here. Ooh, and this looks like a full... Ooh, this is a taiga, too, not a... Um, sometimes you find these spruce trees just in, like, snowy biomes. But this is perfect because I also want a bunch of mossy cobble. So that'll be, hopefully, here somewhere. Easy to find. Oh, shoot, you know what? Oh, no. Did I really... I might have left my bed somewhere. How did I do that? Why is our bed missing? <laughs> no. Oh no. Oh, somebody's probably caught that too. I totally, I don't even know where I would have left it. Okay. Well, I think this is the uh, the first night time we're gonna have to uh, survive the night. <laughs> Um, you know what? We have all of these just in case. I think we can probably stay out on the water and we'll be fine, but since we have this iron that we just found anyway, I'm going to use it to make some armor and a shield specifically. All right, just to make this safer, I'm going to, for the most part, stay along the coast. <laughs> and uh, we'll stop if we see some- yeah, there's some mossy cobble right up there, but that's- okay, yeah, there's some right down here. And there's some iron here, so uh, that actually looks not very easy to get to. Let's uh, start with the mossy cobble anyway. There's a creepy guy. <laughs> oh, it really makes them glow too, eh? <laughs> We're not going swimming, don't worry. Do they come out of the water? I'm not even sure. Maybe they do. That's okay. We've got a shield, we've got a an axe. <laughs> we can defend ourselves a little bit here. Oh, he's in my boat? What the heck? Ah. What did he drop? Oh, just some rotten flesh. Not that exciting. But that's alright. You know, this actually isn't too bad. They're not spawning very many. <laughs> I wonder if it's the... Well, it's not a full moon. I don't know. It is pretty bright out here. But I wonder if it's just because we're right on the water and there's not a lot of like... It's a pretty dense forest? I don't know. I thought more stuff would spawn. Maybe it's a brighter night. Okay, that's almost a full stack of mossy cobble. We could definitely use more spruce, but I was thinking about going back to that place where I chopped down those first few because the saplings have probably fallen by now. Um, and I can just kind of climb around there and get a full stack of the spruce wood. Should be a good thing for us to start with. And we'll plant um, a spruce farm. I, I don't think the spruce trees are going to be super, like, and they'll be a little bit out of place <laughs> as actual trees in our base area, but um, we can use it as a bit of a farm just so that we have some, uh, a good amount of wood anyway. 
All right, there we go. We've got a full stack in a bit and we got nine saplings. I mean, at least I'll drop a few more, but honestly, I don't really think we need more than nine. <laughs> we'll start a little farm and then um, we'll have we'll have more than enough. Let's grab these last couple. And then maybe we just do a nice peaceful moonlit boat ride back because unless we haven't run into a, um, a dark oak, for us, which I really, I highly doubt it. <laughs> um, I don't think there's really any other supplies that I specifically wanted to gather um, for our first base. So uh, we might as well just make our way back and hopefully, oh geez, there's a zombie. <laughs> that scared me a little bit. Um, hopefully it's not too hard. I think that looks like it leads back to the ocean. Um, ooh, a cool lava waterfall. Hopefully it's not too hard to find our base again. Um, might have to open up the coordinates <laughs> and uh, double check, try to make our way back as close to zero zero as we can, but um, we might be able to find it. I, th I think I think I understand how full circle. Ooh, wait, village. Oh, is that our village? Is that a new village? Is ours that close to the water? Ah. Oh yeah, no, this is it. This is it. I remember those torches. Okay, we've already made our way back. Wow, that taiga was way closer than I, I even thought it was. That is perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, well, as the sun is rising on our little starter village here, I think this is a good place to end this episode. So I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, suggestions, tips, anything like that, obviously, leave them in the comments below. I love reading your comments. Um, and I will you know, respond um, to any questions that you might have. And yeah, in the next episode, we are going to be finding a place to settle down and we're going to be building our first, um, our first base, essentially our first house. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I think we've got a good amount of supplies. Hopefully we can, uh, we can build it up really nice uh, with everything that we've gotten so far. The only thing that I'm thinking is um, I do want some leaves, obviously, and some vines. So we'll have to smelt some of this iron that we got, put together some shears. Hopefully we have enough iron <laughs> uh, for now before we do any mining, because we'll do that soon. But I want to build the base first, um, which I think I think will be fine. I think we can do all of that. Um, but yeah, so look forward to that. And I will talk to you in the next one.